let me start with the key point number one MHC class one is present on all nucleated cell so this suppose this is a nucleated cell MHC class one is present to make it more clear RBC doesn't have nucleus therefore RBC doesn't have MHC class one receptor MHC class two is present on antigen presenting cells like B cells macrophages dendritic cells etc so these cells are specialized immune cells that process and present antigen on MHC class 2 receptor so this is MHC class 2 receptor so as it is a nucleated cell it is also having MHC class 1 receptor it will be also having its own receptor like B cell receptor so these are the antigen presenting cells dendritic cells macrophages etc let me repeat MHC class 1 is present on all nucleated cell whereas MHC class 2 is present on only on antigen presenting cells like macrophages B cells and dendritic cells moving to the interaction of MHC class 1 with other cells so this is a nucleated cell suppose a virus infects this nucleated cell then this is internalized by the cell and that is processed this is called as antigen processing a part of the virus is presented on MHC class 1 receptor and this MHC class 1 bound antigenic peptide is recognized by T cytotoxic cells or cytotoxic T cells which is having CD8 receptor let me make it more clear MHC class 1 bound antigenic peptide is recognized by T cytotoxic cells MHC class 1 mainly interacts with cytotoxic T cells the speciality of this cytotoxic T cells is it is primarily involved in clearance of endogenous antigens like a pathogen infected cell or a tumor cell or a virus infected cells all these cells will manifest some kind of signals by processing the antigen inside and that presenting that antigen on MHC class 1 so that that infected cell is easily recognized by T cytotoxic cell what happens next is on binding of the cytotoxic T cells to MHC class 1 bound antigenic peptide this cytotoxic T cells as the word indicates it is cytotoxic toxic to the cell secretes perforins a protein that creates pores on the membrane of infected cells then there are granicines other enzymes like digestive enzymes like granicines are also secreted that finally causing the destruction of that infected cell thereby clearing that infected cell from the system so MHC class 1 the major function it is involved in the clearance of endogenous antigens hope this much is clear MHC class 2 as we said it is present on antigen presenting cell so this cell is having MHC class 1 receptor as it is a nucleated cell then in the case of B cell it is having B cell receptor so bacterial toxins or viral toxins that binds to B cell receptor a B cell with a receptor having specificity to these toxins then this is internalized and processed by this antigen presenting cell as the word indicates this antigen presenting cell present that antigenic peptide as you see this is the processed antigen that is presented on MHC class 2 antigen presenting cell present the processed antigenic peptide on MHC class 2 to T helper cell so T helper cell can easily recognize an antigen that is bound to MHC class 2 so this is a key point T helper cell can recognize only antigen that is bound to MHC class 2 
Therefore, T helper cells interacts only with antigen presenting cells. Or antigen presenting cell presents antigenic particle or antigenic peptide on MHC class 2 that is recognized by the T cell receptor, T helper cell receptor. T helper cell is having a CD4 receptor. Then further regulation is carried out by this T helper cell. What happens next is it secretes many chemicals like interleukins. So binding of this MHC class 2 bound antigenic peptide by T helper cell. Then T helper cell secretes many interleukins or chemokines that causes the proliferation of this particular B cell which is called as clonal selection. That particular B cell with that specificity is induced to divide then it differentiate to form plasma cells and memory cells as we know. These plasma cells are responsible for the production of antibody with that, with that particular specificity and that will bind to these toxins then causing agglutination, neutralization etc. thereby clearing out the toxins from the system. So this is what is normally happening with the activation of T helper cells by antigen presenting cells like B cells, dendritic cells and macrophages. In short, MHC class 2 interacts with helper T cells or in other words T helper cell can recognize only an antigenic particle that is bound to MHC class 2. Therefore, this MHC class 2 is primarily involved or the function is clearance of exogenous antigens from bacterial toxins, viral particles, toxins, etc. One more point to add is both this MHC class 1 and MHC class 2 is involved in graft rejection. Hope you are clear with the concept. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforit.com.